to the podcast where we introduce you to incredible humans who share their journeys with the mission to inspire you to harness your own inner tenacity to drive your life and career forward. And now, your host, Adam Posner. Let's do this, folks. This is a collab you never know you wanted, but you're going to have it anyway. I'm not sure I wanted it. Did you want this? I, I'm miserable <laughs> right now. See, that's my goal as a podcast. Told me there'd be chocolate. And no chocolate. <laughs> what kind of chocolate? Special chocolates? <laughs> Cookies. Sexual chocolate. Sexual okay. chocolate. Sexual chocolate. This baby. is a collab that you never knew you wanted, but we're going to do it for you anyway. This is a Chad and Cheese podcast collaboration from Transform Day 2. How do you get, you guys are veterans, how do you keep the stamina going? That's a very good question. Uh, yeah, it's Legally. Just, Literally. Pace yourself, a lot of naps. It, yeah, it, it is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Yeah. That's the big key. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Don't come the, the first day, drink your ass off, gamble your ass rookie off. Rookie mistakes. Yeah, that's, a work, that's rookie shit. That's rookie shit. You can't be doing that. Balance the meds. You know, balance the meals. Yes. Balance the time. Yeah. You'll make it. Be careful on the gummies. We're professionals. Oh, yeah. We're 20 years plus on the gummies. veterans in this game. And you guys are veterans, so I'm going to fangirl here for a moment here. I just want to thank both you guys for paving the way for folks like myself to, gonna make me tear up. to, rep it. to represent in this market, to have our voices shine, but more importantly, have our guest voices shine and shed a light of great thought leaders within the industry. So thank you guys for paving the road and also about the relationships and bringing in sponsors and making those sponsors shine as well, too. So thank you guys. So I'm done with the nice talk. Thank God. Fuck oh, that. I, I, was, <laughs> I was tearing up over here. I'm getting verklempt. What, no. makes, what makes Transform special? This is my first. You guys have done this before. My first, actually. No, yeah. Yeah. our first. Totally yeah, like our first. Which is, show, which is, right? yeah, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, so it was funny. Joel actually asked me earlier, "What makes this better than any show?" I don't. Mm. I just think that there's big differences between. There's some likenesses between this and Unleash, but I still think there's a huge difference because, like, seventy percent of the freaking uh, sponsors and the booze, you, I haven't seen anywhere else. Yeah. Right. So it's bringing a, a different. Is it a different caliber, a different sector of the industry, different voices? There's so much in this industry. Yeah. I mean, it. there's not one. HR Tech gets a shit ton of sponsors and also startups and vendors, blah, blah, blah. So, right? They don't get them all, right? Neither does Unleash. Neither does Wreckfest. It makes so, you appreciate how big the yeah. space is. Yeah, it's a big damn guys space. Guys like us who've been around for so long can yeah. walk into an exhibit hall and oh. say, who the fuck are those Also guys? helps Who you understand like, for HRTA people that this is a noisy fucking industry, right? Yes, if we come into a, a space like this and we don't even, I mean, come on, man. So how do you, We so, live this stuff and we don't know these companies. So Imagine how, a vendor, I mean, sorry, <laughs> right. a customer. How do they make sense of that? Now, we try to, on our show, make sense of it for people. But yeah. it's immense. the biggest challenge for most of these companies is cutting through the clutter and getting noticed. So let's talk about that word that's All cutting right, through. It's AI. Yeah. We're going to be walking. We're going to be go. walking. He's going to spin us around over We're here. We're walking. So if you open up your ears for two seconds, you cannot go a minute without a second without hearing AI. AI, AI, AI. Yeah. Like it's my everywhere. show, you guys talk to a lot of thought leaders. How are you helping your listeners decipher and understand? And by listeners, it could be vendors, it could be recruiters, it could yeah. be candidates, whoever's listening to the chat and cheese show or the podcast. How do you decipher what the hell AI is? It's, it's all about being able to do due diligence. And for the most part, most of these companies have no fucking clue what, <laughs> that, what that even means without AI, right? So they've got to get companies in who specialize in the tech stack and AI, right? So they have to they have to get somebody who knows because if they don't, they're gonna be buying shit they, they, don't they never wanted. Like how do you decipher between what's a check to box, sorry, or what is like necessary for your tech stack? Or maybe your tech stack has so many pieces in it you don't even need it. Well then you don't need it, you don't need it. But Ultimately, AI means nothing. It's what is the solution. Yep. What the problem is that you're looking Outcome. to solve, and is AI the right solution? Or maybe it's an existing, yeah. we'll call or it a Web 2 piece. Is it, piece. <laughs> is yeah, it that's, vaporware? That's, that's where the due diligence comes yeah, in, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of fucking vaporware. <coughs> Eightfold. <coughs> that's out there. <laughs> that's out there. Um, yeah, so I don't know. What, what about you? Because yeah. you're seeing a lot of this, too. I'm having a lot of conversations with the AI folks, too, and I think it really it boils down to what is the problem that the company is looking to solve, uh -huh. or how could AI help make it more efficient, faster, better, to give a better candidate experience and empower the internal recruiters to do a better job with the human elements of recruiting, which is a really, you guys are, we're, all three of us are recruiters, we're people leader, we're, we're in the space. So do we need it? 
Could it make our jobs better? And I think that's really what it's all about. What yeah. the fuck yeah. are these assholes doing all in right. our space? Everybody We're going to keep out. standing. Well, we can Get stand. Out. Get out. Evan. Get out. Out. <laughs> This guy's this guy. <laughs> so let's talk. Let's, let's talk podcasting for a minute here. Okay. Let's give us the stats here. How long have you guys been doing this? Seven, Seven years. Seven years this month. Seven years. Yeah. Mazel tough on that one. <laughs> and 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 how did how did Chad meet Cheese? How did Harry meet Sally over here? Hold on. Here we go. I'm gonna switch over it there. It is it is a very very it doesn't matter sexy story. No, not really. Literally, we're just in the same space, man, and and we're both from. We he spent time in Cleveland. I grew up south of Cleveland in Mansfield, so we just we had like a, a quick quick bond, especially over sports. Ohio very State. Quick. <laughs> very quick. He's very quick. He's sexy. He moves, he moves quick. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And and I and I love the I love the chemistry. I mean, listen, like I've been studying you guys for a while. I'm an avid listener, and it's and it's a chemistry. Do you, do you think that you could do it as well as successful? without each other as a solo show. No. No, 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 no. So, it, and I'll, give, I'll give, give you a great example. I don't know if you've ever heard of the, the radio show Bob and Tom. It was a big morning drive time show that Local was syndicated, show. yeah, which was syndicated. syndicated all across the U.S., Bob and Tom, right? Two incredibly different voices. They were incredibly successful, and they were successful because they – we're funny. I don't. We're not. We're not that funny. But they were funny. You guys are funny. And they also they were no bullshit. And it was like we could do that, right? Mm. What What does it sound like if you go to a conference, you've had a few drinks, like after <laughs> Transform? What does it sound like if you're talking to your buddy and having some beers, right? That's what we wanted our podcast. Yeah, to sound I like. think it's important to note that we were friends. Yeah. Long before the podcast. Right? So you had so, the rapport, so you had that jive, you had that snarkiness the between you. Yeah. Was there, and there's too many people that start a podcast by just someone they know, or hey, I have met someone. Like, why don't we start a podcast? If you start without the foundation of we get along with each other, you're doomed to fail because that is eventually going to come out as you. You're work trying to create with something. This is work. It Dude, is work. <laughs> so let, let's <laughs> actually talk about the second. I think a lot of people, and we all talk about pod fade. Let's talk pod shop for a little bit here. I give everyone credit who wants to give this thing a try. Oh, yeah. But you guys have been doing it seven oh, yeah. years. I've been doing it five years. This is a grind. This is a business. And if you don't have the stamina to do it, and if you don't have the why behind it, that's what it's about. So what's, what's your why? We're getting philosophical here as we're all tired. Uh, of like, why money. do you guys do this shit? Money's pretty much my why. <laughs> and that, but that's okay. My why is why do this? We do this because most pe- there's so much fluff, pomp, and circumstance in this fucking industry nobody cuts through the clutter and actually says what they mean because you're in hr right so it's like my why was like we need to fill that gap and the very first time we went to sherm talent i always thought that like the old hr ladies wouldn't like us because we're two dumb white dudes who were being dumb white dudes but you know we've got some experience they loved it and they were saying you're saying what we've been thinking and talking in small circles about for 30 years, and we're glad that you're fine. Somebody's finally doing it. And I think that's why we're aligned, and that's why it was most important because I, I felt you guys we had the same vibe here. I, I go by this mantra of just off the cuff. Yeah. We're gonna keep it real. We're gonna talk shop, but let's really lift up the hood and say what we really want to say. That maybe, as you said before, we're kind of scared to say, but we're gonna create a safe space for it. And add the right amount of snark. Too many people <laughs> try to be just everything snark. to everybody. Then you're nothing to nobody. We could give a shit. Like, we are who we are. That's going to attract yeah, like a lot it of people. Unapologetic. But some people are going to be turned off, offended, whatever, and that's okay. To, do not go into podcasting think you're going to be liked by everybody. In fact, if you're not hated by someone, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I grew up inspired by Howard Stern. I, before I got into recruiting, I worked at Sirius XM for five years, and I grew up in New Yorker. Howard Stern's my lifeblood, and that's yeah. the way I approach it. In my opinion, best interviewer to walk the face of the earth because he turns an interview into a conversation. Yes. And you guys do a great job of that, too. And I think that's really about what this space is. There are a lot of HR shows. And they're boring as fuck. They're boring. So you keep it real. What advice would you give podcasters out there to, to help find their voice? If they haven't already found it before the podcast, <laughs> I mean, give it up. I'm not sure a podcast is going to no, help you. No. Well, it, it, there are a, a, a lot of people who have ideas and opinions, and that's great. But the thing is, the reason why Chad and Cheese actually worked, which I'm sure is the reason why Paz does, is because there was a gap. Somebody was not there doing what we're doing now. We identified that gap. I mean, after listening to a bunch of boring-ass HR 
Sleepers. podcasts, right? Nice. We thought, okay, we can do this, and people are going to hate us in some cases, but who gives a shit? Let's just have fun. But being polarizing is a benefit, too. Oh, obviously. Yeah. You guys have a good <laughs> business model going. And you, and you should literally go into podcasting thinking, okay, if I'm a year into this and 10 people are listening, would I still do it? Yes. So don't do it for the listeners. Don't do it for the money, the fame, whatever. If that comes, great. Do it as if you're talking to one person and you'd still do it because you love it that much. But but we did go into this as a business. So we right. had a business plan on the way in. We committed a year right out of the gate. Yeah. We, we had, had a landing sponsors. Page, pre-register. Yes. We had a sponsor before we. We had no. a lot of lessons. At least from your a, plan. at least a hundred people had to say they would listen to our dumb voices yep. right every week, and and we also had sponsors on day one. Yeah, we had that, that's one a, company give us any money. Yeah, that, that, that's that's a that's a tough one as well. I mean, I talk about it very openly. It took me a full almost a full year to break two hundred listeners an episode, and then it hockey sticked up yeah. because I was learning on the fly. Yeah. Right? I didn't. I didn't have that business plan. I went into it. I. I. I like to say we fucking fucked around and find out and got to where we are today. But we had all those lessons learned. Yeah. But from a business perspective, I mean, I'm learning a lot from you guys. How to bring in the right sponsors. Is there? It's probably Evan calling me. Like, is there? Does there have to be alignment with the sponsor? Or as you said, are you just man whores that take anything that comes your way? He's a man whore. That's for sure. Uh, does there have to be a line <laughs> for the sponsor? I yeah. mean, I think ultimately, if you're doing it right, are you doing like dick to, pills? You're going to attract. <laughs> sponsors that are in line with who you are, your message, your energy, et cetera. Yeah. And we have we turned down people spon- though. Totally yeah. turned down people. Yeah. And we understand that our listeners trust us not to do business with fly by night, hack yeah. jobs. And part of understanding this expo and all the vendors is like yeah. who who has Chad and Cheese entrusted into being a sponsor with the show that I trust because these guys are giving it to me unfiltered. That's kind of the value it's to the the sponsors. Well, if we, like, I don't think we've ever been with someone that we didn't like, that we thought was a douchebag, that we thought was bad. We blacklisted. For customers. Like, indeed, if they wanted to. I'm not saying they do because I doubt they do. If Indeed came to us with money, I don't care how much it is, we, would, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't fucking do it. ZipRecruiter, same thing. Oh, he, I can't even don't there's, get started. There's a number. You know. I mean, there, there's a fuck you number. Let's get this solo real. show pretty quickly. <laughs> you know what, though? There, there, there is a there is It's a the Cheeseman monologue. It's the Chad show. <laughs> the Chad, yeah. I think there is there is an appetite for that. But how do you, you guys been doing this for a while? How do you continue to stay sharp and innovate? Or you don't? We <laughs> It is. Certainly for me, I think you as well. I mean, yeah. We always try to keep our finger on the pulse of the news, what's going on. People give us a, hey, did you hear about such and such? <laughs> so early on, we just started a Facebook group with just us. And when we see something interesting, we put it on the feed. And at the end of the week, we like, okay, everything we collected, what pick five. What are we going to talk about? And then we rank them, and then that's what we do. So we, we're always, we see something. We've trained ourselves to add it to the feed, so we don't have to think about memorize. Oh, what was all the news? We yeah. have it right there, and we can pick and choose what we want to talk about from it. the feed. And, and the thing that is the most important is that we keep our wives happy, and happy mine's wife. getting ready to get on stage. So we need to wrap so that shit up. Today's my 14-year wedding anniversary, and I'm Woo-hoo. here to, talking Congrats. to you two guys, you two old white Sorry. dudes over Sorry. here. But for my audience, for the podcast audience, I want you guys to check out the Chat and Cheese show. It's absolutely fantastic. Yep. Why the hell should my audience listen to you two? I don't. If, if they give a shit about the industry, they should at least try one episode. If they care, if, if they like it, great. If they don't, great. If I they want to, if they want an taste unfiltered test. commentary about the news of the day yeah. in our space, they should listen to our show. We're not bought by anybody. We're not a company affiliation for the show. Yeah. Independent like, contractors. We, we, we aren't bought by anybody. We'll give it to you, give it to you straight. Chatcheese.com. Subscribe well, today. And absolutely. And for the Chat and Cheese audience out there, if you want a little bit of the raw, unfiltered, long form interviews, I chop it up. It's what I do best. Check out the podcast.com, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the co- collaboration. Thanks, Thank dude. you for inspiring. And it's been fucking great to hang out and actually get to meet you guys and chill and Me laugh too, a dude. little bit last night. Love it. Awesome. We out. Podcast Chatter Cheese out. We out. Over the last three years, how much market volatility have you experienced in your business? How many times have you had to hire quickly only to find yourself in a position a few months later with not enough roles to keep your recruitment team busy? Now, what if you could work with a flexible recruitment partner that you could scale up and down based on your needs without compromising on quality or culture? The good news, 
is that solution is finally here. Matcher is a tech-enabled RPO player that made its mark in Europe and is now taking over the U.S. by storm. Matcher combines technology, experience, and flexibility for startups, scale-ups, and corporates to quickly deliver on their hiring needs. Now, whether you're hiring across engineering, go-to-market, or GNA, Matcher got you covered. That's why Matcher's embedded sourcing, coordination, and recruiting services are trusted by companies like TikTok, Booking.com, Miro, Grammarly, Stripe, and more. To find out how Matcher can be your flexible recruitment partner, visit matcher.io. That's M A T C H R.io. And make sure you tell them you heard about it on the podcast. Thanks. Wisdom is forever, but for us, it's time to go. Thank you for joining us. Luckily, we'll be back with our next episode soon jam-packed with more incredible humans thank you for listening subscribing and sharing to join the conversation search the podcast on linkedin and to catch up on past episodes and more info please visit www.thepausecast.com